to say, hey guys, it's Klaus. Let's talk map tactics about the map Abbey. If you want to see more map tactic videos, just go to Klaus' YouTube channel and look up the playlist called Map Tactics. Okay, so let's talk about Abbey. This is the map Abbey. And right away, Klaus will tell you the most important part of this map is the 1, 2, 3 line. This area right here. Uh, if you spawn from the south, there's two ways of approaching. You can come down here and get up on the high ground. And usually by the time you get here, you'll encounter enemies. Or you can take the low road here. And by the time you get to this point, you can encounter enemies. From, from the north side, you can come up here. And then you will encounter enemies or take the low road to this corner. And usually you see. So there's going to be a big fight here. Uh, for this 1, 2, 3 line. There's usually lots of tanks here. Now, why is it so important? Well, because the 1, 2, 3 line can control most of the map. When you push and you push forward and you win most of this 1, 2, 3 line, there's openings here where you can shoot into the middle. If you win all the way down from the north side, let's say you win this whole 1, 2, 3 line, once you get to here, there's openings you can shoot into the cap. You can shoot the campers in the cap. If you're if the rest of your team starts losing, you can retreat along the 1, 2, 3 line. There's openings here. You can reset your cap. Same from the, the south side. You can win the 1, 2, 3 line all the way to here and shoot campers in their base. You can shoot into the middle. And if your team starts losing, you can pull back to here and shoot into your cap to reset. Okay, so 1, 2, 3 line is very important. It can control almost the whole map almost okay when you win the one two three line make sure like from the south that you don't just drive into the open then and get shot by the campers or some people in the middle spot first or approach it very very carefully rush into areas right below the cliff where you can proxy spot the campers where you're going to be safe from the center or over here rush into areas below the cliff where you can proxy spot and be safe from the center. Okay, so that's a one, two, three line, very important. Now the opposite of that is the eight line right here. And this is more of a linear fight along this road here because there's a big ridge that separates most of this from the rest of the map. There's a few little gaps that the, the middle can shoot into, but really the eight line is a linear fight. You come from the south and if you've got good front armor, uh, you, you just have to worry about your front as you move up along this line. Same from the red side or the north side. You're just basically facing your enemies from the front. Now, it's a good idea on this eight line to observe what's happening here. If the enemy sends 10 tanks here and you count them on your minimap, remember you should have that minimap on, then you know, oh, most of the enemies on the one, two, three line, so let's push this hard. If you notice that there's barely any, any enemies in the 1, 2, 3 line, then well, you think oh, maybe there's a lot of enemies here, you can be defensive. So observe the minimap when you're fighting on the 8 line to see whether or decide whether you should push or not. Okay? Uh, the middle is another uh, important area, and usually fast tanks from the south want to drive up this road and into the middle where they can spot the campers. In their base and from the north side tanks want to drive up this road and into the middle and into these areas and spot the campers and usually there's a fight here in the middle where they can move down into these areas here where there's some cover and spot from here or here uh, and get shots into the uh, one two three line remember they can shoot you and you can shoot them from from areas here but be careful in the center because there's always campers and that's the, the fourth place you can find on this map, is camping around your base here, behind these rocks here and here, or in the north, behind these rocks here and here. If you rush into the middle, as soon as you cross halfway, you poke over, there's a ridge line here, as soon as you cross halfway here, you're coming from the south, there will be a TD here that is going to shoot you. And if you come from the north, as soon as you get to halfway, there will be a TD here that is going to shoot you. So do not pause in the high ground in the middle here or sit in the openings here and here. You will get shot from the campers at base. Okay, so 
Klaus believes the 1-2-3 line is the most important at the beginning of game, especially to take control of. Uh, this has the most line of sight and shooting opportunities. The center is important to spot. And the area with the most cover is the 8 line, but it's more of a linear fight. Uh, SPGs, there's great spots for SPGs in the back, in the bushes, that can shoot a lot of the map there and here and bushes back here. You'd be surprised how sneaky they can be. Okay, so Klaus is going to uh, show a game here. We'll be spawning in the south. And of course, we'll be going to the one, two, three line. So let's watch. Elf gates. Elf gates. Okay, let's talk map tactics. Like Klaus said, the one, two, three line is probably the most important uh, area of this map. And Klaus is in his E50. And look at our team here. Look at the mini map. Uh, some will go to the middle, some will go to the one, three line, and some will go to the eight line. Some are camping at the back here. Now Klaus has made the minimap extra large so that you can see what's going on. Klaus will refer to the minimap as we go. Now look, we have a strong force here going to the 1, 2, 3 line. That's good. We have a couple of tanks in the center. Now that T-49 is moving aggressively up there. And there's a TD probably waiting for him. Uh, let's, let's see if he survives. It's always... Oh, no, he didn't. <laughs> because there are always base campers that are ready to shoot you. Look at the mini map right there, okay? Just like Klaus said, we have a T-30 camping. Uh, could have done the same thing, but anyway. Okay, look at mini map. We have lots of tanks here coming to the one, two, three line. So Klaus has moved up aggressively here. Hopefully he has some backup. We have nobody on the east side on the eight line. Nobody has gone there. So the T-95 is waiting at base to defend that when uh, enemies move down. See, in this area here, there's nobody. The T-95 will defend that portion there. Nobody on the 8 line. Okay, but that's not so big a deal because the 8 line is isolated. This is the spot where the fighting happens. And here comes someone, and... Well, Klaus missed his shot. Crap. We gotta get up here and take a shot. There we go. Sorry, buddy. Klaus had to try and get a shot. You're getting two or three shots, that's good. Now look at, see, the enemy team has come down the 8 line and they've moved all the way down here. But now they have to face that T-95. Oh, and Klaus missed his shot there. Oh, Klaus's teammate is almost dead. Now look at, look at the southeast portion of minimap. The enemy has pushed hard down there. But that's okay. It's hard to win from that 8 line. Look at them down there. That's a fight all, already at our base. This could be a loss, right? Uh, let's see, and we are not doing very well here on the one, two, three line. We are losing this game. E100 has moved. Klaus is boxed in here. Come on, guys. Just want to take a shot, but okay. Well, you're dead. So you know what? Klaus is going to use his dead teammate as cover here, and maybe try and get some shots. T95 at base is protecting like a boss. Good job. And now Klaus has to help win this one, two, three. I look, the enemy or enemy has guys in the center. They have guys in the southeast. We have a, the T-30 at the base is still maybe not looking uh, to the southeast. <laughs> Interesting. But anyway, here's the fight here. Klaus has to get some damage. Always good to have a dead teammate for cover. And I'm going to peek out here. There we go. Got to get a shot. Of, okay, he's turning. Klaus got to get a shot on you. Okay, he shot. Sorry, E100, you took the hit, but he's dead now. Okay, there you go. And this, we're losing this game big time. Enemies have the center and the southeast. T95 is dead, and there's a big fight still going here. Klaus is still fighting. No need to give up yet. No need to give up yet. Okay. Oh, that was a big mistake by Klaus. Backed up into an E100 shot. You see this 1-2-3 line has many different angles and, and places to, to flank people. So Klaus made a mistake and backed up, showed his ass to an E100. Not smart. Now the enemy has the center here. Uh, but that T30 is defending like a boss. He's got cover there at the base. 
Klaus has to take this guy. There you go. Avished. All right. Uh, let's go. Game is, is looking a little bit better now. Now, now let's go finish this E100. Looks like our team has got the advantage here on this 1-2-3 line. Come on, guys. Soon as someone shoots here, Klaus is going to poke out. Okay. And it looks like it's three versus one. No one coming from behind. And there's a bad chat. Okay, Klaus is going to come up and help here. Did the E100 fire? Okay. Let's see if we can get this guy. Okay, E100 is dead. And now we go after this batch up. Look at AMX and enemies are at the base. They've come down the center and the eight line. They're at our base. Look at our artillery hiding in those bushes at the base. There's a sneaky little spot there to hide. And okay, it looks like our base is falling. So a couple of choices here. Klaus has to go back. Klaus go back or proceed to their base. Uh, you know what? T-150, or T-125, is already back. So should Klaus go help him? Probably should go back, right? But you know what? T-125 is already there. They are not in cap. So maybe going to kill their scumbags is a better idea. Okay, let's move north. Klaus does not want to leave the E-100 on his own. Oh, and he's found one of the scumbags. <laughs> Okay, so one of their scumbags is dead. Good job, E100. And uh, now Klaus is going to move to this little spot here. You see this spot here, you can spot their base. This is why this 1-2-3 line is so important. And Klaus, there you go. Klaus has spotted the artillery. And the E100 got that, got that guy too. Okay, so now you see this 1-2-3 line is very important. You can shoot in at the bases. Our guys can shoot in at the bases. So even though the enemy has taken control of everything else, the 8 line, look at mini-map, we have control now of most of the map because we have the 1, 2, 3 line. So it's a tie game. And now Klaus is going to move in with our E100. Oh, there's an enemy. Got to scoot across here, scoot across. Do not get hit. To move quickly. Do not stay in the open. And our E100 got him too. Or maybe it was artillery. Now there we go. There's a scumbag. There we go. Now we're starting to... Oh, Klaus is spotted. Now cannot stay here in the open. And oh, look at look at our artillery down here. Klaus is pointing at the minute. He's still undetected. <laughs> the Object 140 has not spotted him. You have to be careful. There's bushes there that can spot everybody. Or can you can remain unspotted by everybody. Okay, so now Klaus is alone. And Klaus is going to go try uh, to, to get this scumbag. Maybe he's hiding around the corner here. He's got want to go check this corner quickly. And they're not here. Okay, they're not here. So, hmm, where are they? Klaus is going to go towards their cap. Now look at our artillery here. Artillery is still alive, so Klaus is going to go try and spot an enemy so our artillery can shoot. This is a little bit dangerous, but if Klaus looks, pokes in these bushes, maybe, maybe we can spot someone. From here, from these bushes, you can spot the middle. So let's see. Oh, Klaus is spotted. Bad idea, bad idea. And, oh, bounce the shot. So light tank is probably in the middle. Okay, so now what does Klaus do? Uh, at the beginning of the game, the one, two, three line's most important. This area here, one, two, three line's most important. Lots of ways to go. But now at the end, Klaus wants to be safe. So Klaus is going to go to the eight line here because it's more of a one-way fight. Just people, Klaus has better idea what to expect. And oh, there he is, there he is. And oh, Klaus got hit. You should have rammed you, should have rammed you. I was almost dead. You stupid, useless scumbag. And, well, you drown. Go ahead. Oh, our artillery got him. Okay, now on this one, on this eight line, you just have to worry about what's ahead of you and behind you. It's hard to get flanked. Oh, there's someone behind, Klaus. Get in cover. Get in cover quick. Turn around. 
point front armor at you? Yeah, there you go. How do you like that? Klaus is not going to make the same mistake again. Can ram you. There you go. Only have 20, 30 health, but I can ram you. Okay, there's a... Oh, and I missed. Close missed. And he missed. So let's take you out. Let's take you out. Ah, you dead. Okay, one more. One more. And now he's either in front or behind of Klaus, or maybe in this little area here. It's easier to anticipate where enemies are on this eight line. Keep an eye behind. He's going to be either in front or behind. There he is. There he is. Turn around. And that's the game. Okay, ace tanker. Tanker and a couple of metals here. Spartan and top gun. Not so bad. And team score. Uh, Klaus on top, six kills. And E100 did a fantastic job. Look at that. Uh, he did quite a bit of damage. And our artillery did a great job from that little bush. <laughs> so, yeah, good game. So, Klaus, hope you enjoyed that. If you want to watch more map tactics, Klaus has started a playlist on his channel. Just check it out. And uh, remember, on this map, one, two, three line, most important. Uh, probably get the most XP for your buck on the one, two, three line. Especially if you're in a great tank like this E50. Oh, yeah, baby. <laughs> Thank you, y'all. Epic. Thank you for watching. Uh, I'll catch you next time.